When you tell people you went to art school, they're probably going to think that you spent four years jerking around in worthless classes, not really doing anything important. And you know, they're kind of right. But they're going to think about things like this, or this, or this, <sighs> or this, or this. Oh, God, what the fuck? It's understandable, though, because every time art school is portrayed in the media, in movies or TV, it's always a bunch of idiots standing around doing stupid fucking shit. Now, when I was growing up, I was that kid and everyone was always like, oh, he's such a good drawer. He's so good at art. So I kept doing it. And when I grew up, I was just assuming that I was going to go to art school. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really do any soul searching. I wanted to go to art school. It was my density. I mean, my destiny. But I looked forward to it. And when I was old enough, I applied and I got in. And my idea of what art school was going to be was probably just as skewed as everybody else's. But I didn't care. I was in art school. I got into art school. Art school. Art school. Art school! Art school! My high school growing up sucked for visual art. I'd never had a nude model to draw. We never really did anything other than paint color wheels and fucking... Yep, red still opposite green. But for whatever stupid reason, I decided to pursue my dream. I was going to play froth on the quad. I was going to chill out in the life drawing rooms and paint all the naked models. Or... I was going to wear a beret and drink lattes and smoke cigarettes from countries I'd never heard of. It was going to be so fucking cool. Or I was going to be hunched over a table 17 hours a day, surrounded by other people also hunched over tables. Don't make eye contact. With pictures of all my favorite cartoons on the wall. Working painfully, nonstop. Oh, fucking God. <sighs> hating every minute of it and loving that I hated it. Being starved and overworked and without any sleep of any kind. And it was going to be so fucking bohemian. Or I'd be sculpting things and painting. Or not. Um. Hmm. Huh. Why is everyone in our class wearing a fucking polo shirt? Why am I the only one with dyed hair? Where are all the other punks and freaks? And, and guys who never shave and... Girls who don't shave, and oversized clothes with patches all over them, and homemade shit. Why is our teacher not a complete spaced-out lunatic? Why is everyone looking at me? Why do I get the distinct impression that I'm the only person here that smokes weed? Oh. Oh, God. Shit.